Hello, welcome to Battle Report number six for the channel. Uh, we have a quick battle report here today, a 2500 point game of Dwarves versus Wood Elves. Um, as a side note, I probably will be putting out less battle reports than I have in the past, not that I put out that many. Uh, it's mostly that the, the local gaming group, um, as much as local as you could call it, uh, more or less has, has dissolved and it'll be me playing my wife for the majority of the time and anybody we can find, hopefully Age of Sigmar or whatever comes up, uh, maybe ninth we'll actually get some fantasy players going again, but I digress. Into the start, the dwarves are as such. Um, mostly just a do double runesmith. Uh, try to be shooty with uh, a couple of uh, stubborn units to hold out the side of the artillery. So, uh, we go into wood elves, uh, spellweaver, um, my wife wanted to use Orion uh, and a few other things just to uh, mix it up for a change. So mostly shooting with a few uh, punchy units and uh, a sister bus to hold the level 4 of death. Uh, here are her spells. Um, I think she's finally convinced to stop using the level 2 of life. It's just not very useful. And then you end up with spells like this, so it's not useful at all. For the most part. So, but otherwise, you can see the level four of death got some reasonably good spells. So, we go on to deployment. Dwarves are my left side. Uh, those are impassable. Those hills. So you can see my drakes, a cannon, uh, my iron breakers, organ gun, twenty. The well, the uh, the uh, thunderers are proxying for quarrelers in this game. Uh, so, just same thing. Uh, with Runesmith and BSP installed, uh, Gretschler and Longbeards with the Runesmith installed. My opponent, right flank, my left flank, Wild Riders, Eagle, Gladeguard. Oh, here you can see my Rangers as well. So, this is after Scouts. Gladeguard, Gladeguard, Orion with his dogs, uh, Sister Bus, Eagle. Scouts and her last deep wood scouts placed over there. So, uh, Wood Elves turn one movement looks like such. Um, my Drakes had vanguarded at this point, and without measuring, I successfully put them far enough up so the Eagle could just easily fly over. Uh, very smart. So, it'll be something I watch in the future. Uh, on the other side, for Wood Elves, sorry for some of these pictures are a little blurry because we played this at night ish. Everybody just moves up a little bit. Uh, sister bus, just getting in range, and the eagles flying around. Um, and again, as in my other videos, please ignore the talking dog in the background. Uh, just showing that magic is eleven to six. Soul blight is stopped. Curse of Andra, though, is let through um, on the organ gun. So, yeah, kind of sucks. And a Spirit Leech was dispelled, which is what I was more worried about. The result of shooting is three Rangers fall over. That's okay. They pass their check. Uh, two wounds are done to the organ gun, so at least it's still around. And the, the Deep Wood Scouts, five of them on that side, successfully rolled three sixes, shooting at my grudge thrower. Boo. So, Grudge Thrower's gone, turn one, didn't even get a shoot. So, Dwarves, turn one. Uh, the Drakes hang out. Actually, we don't move at all, so... Yep. For the most part, just hanging out. Uh, the result of shooting, because there's no magic phase, of course. Uh, we The Drakes pull off a ton of these Glade Guard. They pass their panic check. Uh, looks like, I think, the Organ Gun popped off a bunch of these Glade Guard here. And a cannon shot uh, trying to go through a bunch of sisters, I think, got ward saved by the second one it hit. So, turn two. What else? Um, Eagle declares a charge on the cannon. Makes it. Wild Riders come swinging around. The Deep Wood Scouts move up. Sister Bus pops into the forest up here for some cover and plus one to cast. Uh, 
Uh, the Glade Guard in the back move up. Uh, Orion moves up some. And the Eagle over here flies way around. Shooting. My last two Rangers fall over. Let's see, did I just forget to do magic? Ah, okay, so no magic. Magic was 8 to 5. He's dispel dice for something. And then uh, Spellbreaker broke Purple Sun. So, that's awesome. Uh, other shooting is the Longbeards take a few casualties into combat. Uh, the cannon takes a wound from the eagle, but holds out. So, uh, we move into dwarves turn two. The dwarves looks like they finish off this unit. The uh, the, the drakes do. Um, she failed to kill the orphan gun again with his one wound left, so it opened up on the sister bus and went to town. And that's about it for dwarves. Turn two, not a lot to move or do. Uh, turn three for wood elves. Uh, this isn't a good picture. This is the wild riders uh, declaring a charge into the cannon. Orion declaring a long charge into the longbeards. And the eagle flying around. So um, the wild riders made their charge, and Orion, as you can see, hanging out here, failed it. Oh, there's the wild riders. They're actually in with the cannon, but the eagle is kind of like mucking with that up. So, um, so in magic phase, it's pretty uh, uneventful. It was just dispelled uh, curse of Anra with dice, and spirit leech failed to wound anybody. So uh, we go into wood elf shooting, and three drakes are peeled off, and two quarreler thunderers, the quarrelers are peeled off. So, not a big deal. Oh, and you can see the organ gun is also destroyed, which is why it's why it's forward like that. Um, so that that kind of sucks. But it only had one loon left, and it did a pretty good job. Um, as you can expect, the wild riders make quick work of the cannon, and so they reform like such. The wild riders overrun to an inch of the eagle. The reason I took two pictures of that. Dwarfs. Turn three. So the Iron Breakers here reform, <laughs> expecting to either take uh, Wild Riders in the face or just just watching the flank. The Iron Drakes reform to take a bunch of shots over at these archers, and that's all of my movement. Uh, move into shooting, and the Iron Drakes eat up a bunch of archers, which is pretty sweet. Um, and that's really all my shooting of, of use. Looks like the um, Quarrelers put a wound on the uh, the level four. The horse, the riderless horse, there is the level four of death. I need to finish some of these models. Turn four for the wood elves. Uh, Orion declares himself another charge into these longbeards, and he makes it. And the wild riders and eagle just hang out over here. Uh, wild riders reforming to go chase after the drakes if they decide so much and everyone turning to shoot at the drakes which are quite becoming a hazard into my opponent's side uh... the eagle moves to chaff up or uh, redirect these breakers so that i can't overrun into the wild riders if we do get into combat there so um, we'll get a magic phase here seven to five um, looks like Spirit Leech has stopped, I guess. And then Bubble Soul Blight goes off, which is which is not so good. Uh, as you can see, the Drakes took four wounds, which isn't atrocious. And so that's that's all really the casualties of shooting. We move into combat. Um, I champion uh, challenges out Orion. He has to accept this, which is super fine. And, of course, he's pummeled to the ground. Um, the dogs successfully kill a longbeard, which is fine, and the longbeards kill the dogs. Um, I was sitting here thinking about this after this and, and, and trying to understand why 
from a, a tactical perspective, these dog options would I, I, would be available. I kind of get that the, the dogs would be in there for the fluff because he has dogs or whatever like that. So the, so the upgrade's available, but looking at it, it's like, well, I guess it's two strength or four strength, four attacks on the charge because they have devastating charge because they're in his unit. I Otherwise, I don't, I don't know what they're for. I guess if you're taking a bunch of standard ballistic skills shooting, the dogs can take some of the wounds. I don't, I don't, it just seems weird, but anyway, uh, of course the, the Iron Breakers from combat, but Orion's unbreakable, so that's that. Uh, dwarves turn four, uh, these guys charge the Eagle, which stands there and takes it. Um, the Iron Drakes, swift reform, to take some shots at the Wild Riders, and they do. They kill off a couple of them, which, which is pretty decent. Um... The Iron Breakers kill the Eagle, but the Eagle actually did put a wound onto Maroon Smith, which was pretty silly, all in all. Um, I'm not sure what I'm showing here. Oh, I missed a, I missed a, didn't take a picture of something. The Eagle had charged the rear of these guys at one point, I think, is what I'm trying to show. Hard to say. And... Orion obliterates a bunch of these guys. Um, I didn't challenge him out with the rune, uh, runesmith. I, I, I was hoping maybe uh, a bunch of strength six-ish attacks would get through, but Bubble Soul Blight was on everybody, so they were just strength five attacks. And, and for the most part, I think he just shrugged them all off. Um, maybe like one or two got in, and he just ward saved them. It was it was it was pretty uh pretty disappointing all in all. Um, the longbeards are stubborn and they hold out, but yeah, thunderstomp and all those attacks is just it is pretty beastly. I'm also toughness three too, so that sucks. But anyway, turn five. So uh, instead of charging my iron drakes with the uh, Wild Riders here, which I advise she probably not do, because just the stand and shoot is going to obliterate them, much less in combat, and it's not going to get them. She decides to just run her Wild Riders over here, get them out of anybody's face, past her frenzy and all that stuff. So, that's fine. Um, they're plenty safe, because I can't reform and shoot, so they're good for a turn. And uh, otherwise, the... Uh, <clears throat> The three remaining Glade Guard way at the top there next to the dead pile with the spell singer move away to conserve those points because the drakes could otherwise have turned or swift reformed, walked, and shot them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, otherwise, and they said the sisters, sister and the spell weaver, level four of death there, move. Uh, just to get out of arc, uh, the quarrelers in the middle there, so that they can't be uh, shot at. It's a lot of points. Magic in turn five is nine to five. My thane is spirit leeched to death. That sucks. Um, I tried to stop that, but I couldn't. And to add insult to injury for these poor, poor longbeards, shield of thorns gets applied to Orion. Sweet. And then. Also, uh, Bubble Soul Blight goes off again. Boo. That's quite uh, quite powerful to turn the Strength 4, Toughness 4 Dwarves into Strength 3, Toughness 3 guys. Uh, it really helps Orion, too, because he's wounding, wounding goes on to 4s. And applying you hit him, and then wound him, and then he doesn't ward save. It really, really helps out a lot. Um, so, that's off. Uh, all in all, Wood Elf shooting isn't super effective, though. Um, one of these guys, an Iron Drake falls over, Quarreler falls over, that's about that. Um, I decide to hopefully end the game with, my knowing my Longbeards aren't going to kill Orion, hopefully maybe they'll survive. The Longbeards are worth more points than the Runesmith. So we challenge him out and say, hey, come come get me, I got a two-up armor, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll survive. N no, no, he won't. He won't. Kill, kill that right, no problem. Orion is Orion is a, a, a wrecking wrecking machine this game. 
So, uh, oh, yes. So, uh, my turn. This is, sorry, this is Dwarf's, Dwarf's turn five. I, I didn't get a little tag on this one. Uh, my corollers here uh, do a swift reform and turn around. And the engineer with his brace o pistol, or pistol, I think he just has one pistol, uh, shoot, shoots himself a wild rider down, which is pretty sweet. Uh, just this, just one, one cowboy whipping out his revolver and picking him off. Um, I think the drakes shoot at these guys. I don't think they had anything else really useful to shoot at. Uh, we go into combat and... Uh, um, Orion, Orion knocks this unit down to three guys left. So it's a banner, it's a musician, and a standard guy just sitting there. So, again, they're stubborn, and they're holding out, but two more rounds of combat, they're not going to make it. So, go into turn six. Um, her wild riders charge um, the quarrelers here. They're not gonna, the only guy that's going to get a stand and shoot is the... Engineer, so it's not too bad. Um, they're not stubborn, but they're likely to be steadfast. It was kind of a gamble either way. Um, there are only strength three. You know, it, it, it is either way whether or not it was a good idea. I told her, you know, you know, go for it if you want. Um, maybe you'll pick up some points. Maybe not. It's hard to say. I mean, they they are getting three attacks each on those wild riders. It's it's not bad. Um, three attacks each, two attacks from the horses. So you're talking about five attacks from those, all those models. Fifteen. Yeah, that could break steadfast. Maybe, maybe. Two rounds of combat. Yeah, yeah. So, goes in, makes it. Of course. Um, these guys aren't fleeing. They're just moving away to conserve points so that the drakes don't finish them off. Um, just moving up the archers just so that they can shoot at the drakes. Yep, showing up the movement. Um, movement over here, just to show you where everyone's going. Alright, uh, moving to magic, turn 6, it was 11 to 6. Uh, puts Curse of Andra onto the Quarrelers, which is pretty good. Irresistibles, a bubble soul blight. Superb. Uh, doesn't, nothing happens because of it. It's, it's one of the slap on the wrist ones. Orion, of course, finishes off these guys no problem. Happy with himself. Actually got a wound through, like, last round of combat. So he was, took one wound this whole game. Um, and he didn't, he didn't regain it at the beginning of this turn. So it's like almost, almost a minor victory. But uh, this combat doesn't go quite so well. Uh, she does peel off a rank or so of dwarves. But even with my strength two. Swings, um, I'm able to get enough through to finish off the Wild Riders, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, I just think they would have done a little better, but anyway. And the real benefit of this is I get to reform. So my Quarrelers, who just happen to look like Thunderers, get to reform in their bottom of turn five, and so that they can shoot turn six. So... The game is pretty much wrapped up at this point. Um, <clears throat> the only thing left to do is shooting in Dwarf's turn six. So I take my their quarrelers and I do everything I can uh, to shoot down the last sister and level four of death. And what would you know? They both die. Just barely. I got two wounds in on the level four of death and one wound through on that last sister. So uh, that, that was a huge point swing at the end. Not quite like a point swing like shooting out Orion, but I, I wasn't going to kill Orion. I just left him sitting there. Um, but in the end, it was a huge, huge point swing. So uh, just a blurry picture at the end of the game. You can see that my um, Iron Breakers are, of course, sufficiently untouched. Um, plenty of dra Iron Drakes hanging out. Uh, not a lot she can do against those guys without uh, magic. And the other side of the table, so Orion, she's still got two units of Glade Guard, uh, her level two, Orion, and both units of Deepwood Scouts live. So, oh, I forgot to add up points, or add this in. So, anyway, uh, the, the dwarves earned 
1,146 points. The Wood Elves earned 1,272 points. So the Wood Elves won um, by over 100 points, so I call that a win. Uh, yeah. Overall, um, it was a reasonably reasonably fun and quick game. Um, that the dwarf's turns are incredibly fast, implying you know what you're going to do when each turn comes. It's like, move maybe a little bit on the drakes, uh, make sure everyone else is in, you know, where they need to be, and then shoot. Okay, pretty sweet. Uh, not, uh, this, this particular list is not terribly uh, movement oriented or expecting a lot of those things, so it's, you know, com coming from playing Beastman, it is incredibly static. Uh, where beastmen just have to move, they have to go, they have to go get you. So this is a little different. Um, anyway, so some thoughts. Uh, when I was making this list, I was making it to include the Iron Drakes. Uh, I had uh, acquisitioned a bunch of bodies from Ebit, and so I said, all right, I'm going to I have a whole bunch of Iron Drake bits, because, you know, if you build breakers or anything else, you got a bunch of Iron Drake guns. So I made 20 of them, and I was like, I'm going to use them. Sweet. But in the process, I forgot to include any gyrocopters in this list, which you might have noticed. Um, gyrocopters in the past playing Wood Elves have just been the bane of Wood Elves. Uh, the armor saves decent, the toughness is decent, and the flame template just cooks Elves. Uh, or the steam template, I guess. <clears throat> and not having them was, was bad. Uh, so, notes to self, remember the gyrocopter. Uh, and also, we went to a GT recently. And in the raffle for the team tournament, I won a gyrocopter, so now I actually have another one to build, paint, and put together. So, another thought to myself is build that, build it, and then and then take two. Um, also, uh, I was really, really pleased with the Iron Drakes against uh, a shooty enemy like this, um, giving them a Sto or a Strollas, uh, let them get up into position and do whatever they want. Um, 20 iron drakes is n probably not something that could be dealt with. Like a flank charge from the wild riders would, would most certainly, um, be problematic if they could break steadfast. Um, not likely that you're going to break steadfast because you'd have to have either kill four, 16 of them. Well... I guess, no, you wouldn't have to kill 16 of them. You'd only have to kill six of them just to get them under two ranks. And if you had two ranks, or each of everybody had a rank, I guess you could probably do it. But um, they're they're pretty mean. Uh, good armor save, six up ward like that, and, and uh, really versatile. Being able to move and shoot is incredibly helpful um, against what else. As you can see, they could just slowly meander around, just smacking up strength, strength their toughness, three wood elves. So that was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get back to painting. Um, I have a lot more of the iron breakers done. Uh, actually done with 10 of them. So hopefully in some time we can get those out. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.